Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. Uh, Rimworld? What's this? Mathis is alive? NL's alive? Dan's alive? Austin's alive? That's right, I save scummed. Back to a point where not every single one of our colonists is dead. And I'd do it again if I had the chance, I'll tell you what. Um, I think what's clear is we desperately need to pay a little bit more attention to our security. And that's something that uh, I've been playing, you know, all 10 hours of the game that I've played have been on Base Builder, which is one step. This is just like a day before the, the disaster happened, by the way. Um, which is like um, a one step easier on the difficulty curve. So uh, it, it's not been as bad for me in my casual play, but they really brought the heat on rough here uh, pretty freaking quickly. So we do want to... Uh, just maybe prioritize doing some stuff that we didn't do earlier. Get this stuff set up. We're going to add a bill here. You know, do some stuff that we did earlier. We didn't have a save that was super close, but we had a save that was, like, close enough to not feel weird about it. Do it until you got 360 blocks. And then we went to manual priorities, and we're like, hey, Dan. You should uh, craft with a little bit more importance, I suppose. Uh, I also am going to make some defensive constructions. And I think that's really where our... Our principal problem was created. I don't know, we have meals over there, that's nice. Um, one thing that I saw online that actually looked really cool was the concept of a... Um, the concept of building bunkers. And I'll show you how I think we can do that here. Um, but let's start just by finding Dan, now that he's alive here. What's he doing there? Relaxing socially? Homer Simpson, smiling politely. Um, <clears throat> I think we also need to make somebody clean a little bit more high priority because we only have two cleaners and things are getting, you know, pretty darn dirty here. Um, but I want to have Dan prioritize uh, stone cutting and then make some stone bunkers. And I'll show you how we will do that. So he's starting by making, uh, I'm not sure what kind of blocks he's making there. Limestone. All right. So once he makes limestone blocks, which he just finished with, we're going to make a limestone bunker and we are going to have it face out in this direction. Just in case they come from this direction. So, that'll be structure, limestone blocks, and we're just going to build, uh, that's limestone doors, sorry, limestone blocks, there we go. We're going to build it like this. So it's going to look like that, like that, like that. We need a door, we'll just put that door here. And then we're going to alternate sandbags with limestone blocks. So what should be able to happen here is that we'll save a lot of steel and we'll have four positions for shooters to be in um, that they should be able to do and basically what this means is that we have a strong building our units can be in they can shoot from here they're gonna be really hard to hit because we're in so, so much cover um, and the only way that people will be able to get in is by breaking this door I think or trying to shoot them over top of the uh, the actual sandbags themselves, which I think is relatively unlikely to happen. So, I do want to get this set up as quickly as possible. I'll make a save just before combat. I'm not sure if the combat's going to be in the same um, location, like if, if it's going to come from the same direction as before. But it's clear that we need a little bit more protection if we're going to have any chance of success here. So, um, just, just try to learn from our mistakes, basically, and, you know, try to persevere. Although, there is something to be said for, you know, making it super permadeathy and then just being like, well, I guess we got to start a new colony. We didn't actually get into that, um, that much of interesting stuff, I think, uh, over the course of, uh, RimWorld so far. I'm really interested to see where, like, the mid-game comes into play here. We're still very much in the early game, and, uh, I mean, in the future we may try to design it so that we have, like, walls around us, and then we'll have traps that units will have to walk through in order to get into our, our area, and then they'll already be wounded by the time they come in, but, uh... You know, we'll see as time goes on. Low food. 16 full bars. That's not that bad. Alright, Dan. Get some sleep, man. It's 1 in the morning here. I need you cutting stone blocks so that we're actually able to produce the uh, the bunker here. Now, I don't think it really matters if our bunker uh, has floors for that matter. But so far, so good. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, get my timer going here while everything's asleep as well. Oh, well. Okay, raid. This is a very important spot for us, I'd say, to save. Alright, timer has started, just so I don't go over or under on this episode. A group of pirates from the Pistol Men have arrived nearby. Now, of course, they've arrived on the other side this time. This guy has EMP grenades, a pistol, and a club. 
Are they attacking immediately? I can't remember. Either way, we've got a lot of time before they get here. Mathis, you are going to, um, you're going to use some of our very precious steel immediately to make more sandbags. And yeah, I know, you're gonna about to eat some potatoes. No, you're not. Everybody else, get drafted. Come over here. We have to be ready for this. This is also a great time for us to make a save. And we're gonna call this um, Big Brother Pre-Raid. Let's make no special characters, just in case. All right, so Mathis is gonna build these sandbags. I can't stress enough. I think steel is very important. They are coming out immediately. Mattis, get the lead out, dog. You know what? I don't think there's time. Get behind this here. Get behind this. No, don't take the steel ship. That won't be necessary. Dan, my boy, get over here. You're our best shooter. They're going around my defenses. Mathis, I, I think you may just want to hide. Clear prioritized work. Prioritize hauling that steel. You got vision? You got vision? You're about to have vision, I think. Nice miss, loser. The one unit is really slow. I just want our dudes to not hit each other, if possible. Oh, that's sweet! Okay, one of them is in shock already. I, EMP grenades do not worry me at all. Just roast him when he walks by. That's alright, that's alright. Okay, the other colonist is fleeing. So we're going to take those EMP grenades, obviously. You are in shock. Um, Austin, you're going to capture Nielsen. Undraft. Undraft. I'm going to cancel these for now. We'll probably need them in the future, but I'm going to cancel them for now. And look at this. We got a we got a prisoner. We should probably <laughs> immediately. I'm like, man, it's still the morning. I'm pretty hungry. Um, immediately, we are going to um, make another grave, and we're gonna bury that dude in there. But look at that. Business as usual. Probably cut down this tree. Honestly, it's slowing us down as we get in here. Let's look at the prisoner stats. Recruitment difficulty is bad. Um, but you know what? I say they get uh, doctor care, but no medicine, and we'll we'll engage them in a chat and recruit. And actually, our number one warden should probably not be Austin. His social stat is only one. As much as this is also important for Mathis to do, like research is important for Mathis, I feel like he should prioritize being a warden as well, uh, because he's more likely to recruit because of his social stat being higher. So. We're actually going to try to take a different approach, and this time uh, keep our... Oh, who's in a bad mood? Austin's in a bad mood. Well, go heal yourself, you dummy. Um, I'm thinking that this could give us another colonist, and it's amazing how things went differently this time. Um, recruitment failed, but a 14% chance is certainly not bad. So Austin's going to heal her up a little bit. We're still working on our bunker over here. This means, I mean, obviously it's not covering a whole lot of real estate, but if units come from the side, this bunker will uh, will be a good opportunity for us to stand here. Um, we are on low food still, but, you know, we got a lot of rice being harvested right now. And what were we working on before? Oh, we tried to treat that injury, but it didn't quite work. What's your What's your health like right now? A lot of gunshot wounds, so not amazing, I'd say, but could be worse. Um, we should really prioritize. Like, I know you're busy prioritizing food, but let's also prioritize making this grave. And once that's done, we'll just put this dude in here, just so we're not affected by, you know, negatively seeing... Um, obviously, we're going to strip him first. We need those clothes, man. Um, thank you for not having, like, actual nudity in the game as well. Uh, just, uh, no, no, don't haul him. Bury him. And then as you shove him in there... Yo, take his coat, dude! Haul the duster away! You're already there, why not finish the job, right? So Austin's in a bad mood. That's, that's relatively sensible, I'd say. Dan's working on our bunker here. And now he's gonna go to sleep, despite it being 1pm. I guess you had a busy day. You had a big day, Dan. We still have low food, but we have a lot of ability to get food, so I'm not concerned about that. Alright, so what were we working on uh, earlier? 
Well, we were working on... We have a lot of sandstone blocks now. We were working on um, the creation of a joy room. So that's just going to be a room with like a pool table and a couple of chess boards and, you know, comfy armchairs or something. So I'm going to make that like right here. We'll just make it 8x8 eight eight again. This is not 8x8. Eight eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Every time, man. Every darn time. So we're making sandstone walls. We're going to make a sandstone door. Whoa! A medieval minstrel named Finn Broken calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the Pistol Men. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 32 years old. Well, we could use a Nick, honestly. I think offer safety. Let's go offer safety, speed one. Finn, let's look at your stats here. Social's good, artistic's good, incapable of skilled labor, incapable of hauling. This guy has actually terrible stats. Um, and no weapon. But he's a doctor? Does he have doctor skills? He's, it says he's tending to Austin. He's got three in medicine. Jeez, it could be... You know, let's wait until he proves himself before we get uh, too attached to him here. Um, we, okay, so back to structure. We need a sandstone door. Put that right here. And, uh, you know, we're still, we're still kind of getting ourselves up to snuff here. Eventually, we're going to have a raid from the Pistolman here. Now, like, I don't even want to give this guy a nickname because it's just kind of insulting. Like, his stats are so bad that I just kind of want to call him, like, Red Shirt. But you know what? Finn, you can be Finn for now. They're attacking immediately. Jump to location. We got Priscilla. We got NG, the engineer. And we have Priscilla with a survival rifle that's awful. What is a PDW? It scares the crap out of me. All right, well, we still got sandbags. So I'm really sorry to do this, Austin. Even though you got a poor mood, you're getting drafted. And, uh... Mathis, you're not drafted yet. Dan, I'm really sorry to do this, dude. You're being drafted. Like, they're really coming at us pretty hot here. And I'm going to draft myself. I'm going to put us over here. I'm going to make another save. And it's say raid the second for Big Brother House. Save it up and, and let's get it going here. Austin needs treatment or he may die. What is, what's his problem? Infection? A bruise from a right fist? Come on. I know you're better than that. Alright, Finn. I don't know, dude. Time to make yourself... Uh, time to make yourself useful. Grab this wooden club. You think I'm going to let you hide inside while I fight off the people trying to murder you? Don't even. Don't even come through this way. Oh, you dirty dogs. Oh, these dogs are dirty. Well, I don't think we're making... What, what if we can goad them over here with a shot first? Like, if we can just take... If we can take the aggro on them... We might be able to kite them over to the sandbags. Make our life better. Okay, you guys are, you guys are safe. This guy's... His job is cleaning dirt. That's fantastic. I don't know if we want to fire at the unit that has a sniper rifle. That seems very scary. Take the shot! Alright. You guys are coming over here. Just get them separated to start with. Oh, we hit him! The dream is real. He's going to go crazy on us. So don't just... Dan, come over here. And then you guys are going to attack. Right away. This guy's got to go. Oh my god. That shotgun scares the crap out of me, man. Not shotgun. Sniper rifle. Yo! He's shooting the cat! Yo, this is not okay. Um, somebody... Finn... You will sacrifice your life to save this cat, okay? 
Go go to sleep, cat. Get out of here. Tiny! I can't look. I can't look. Tiny's been beaten to death! Mathis, you will give up your life for this cat, okay? As much as I hate to say it, at least it's not Dan or Mathis. Ah! Austin has been shot to death! Okay, but this, you know, we're doing it. What comes next? Well, first off, we're getting a sniper rifle, which is pretty dope. Um, Dan, we gotta hunt down Priscilla. Unless she's gonna run away, we gotta hunt down Priscilla. Yeah, and honestly, we should get closer to make it happen as well. Oh, she's running away. All right, uh, you know what? Undraft. Undraft. This guy's got to go. Obviously, we're going to strip him. Take his clothes. We're going to take his rifle. Um, and did we kill Engie? No, nah, just in shock. Uh, how about you? In shock. Well, this is going to give us two more prisoners. So... You know, I'm not sure that I'm, like, thrilled about this. For prisoners. Prisoners. For prisoners. Yes. For prisoners. Now, this is going to become a medical bed. This is going to become a medical bed. That's not for prisoners. There we go. So, um... Capture them up. We're not going to keep them all. Man, this you're taking this... <laughs> Shoddy SMG now. Um, shoddy. Capture this guy. We're definitely not keeping them all alive. Dude, I'm so I'm so sorry, Austin. In no timeline do you live. Okay, now Dan is sleeping in the medical bed with the prisoner just watching. Um, well, nobody should have not a gun anymore. Like, Finn... Go get this gun, okay? And let's look at these guys as prisoners for a second. Prisoner difficulty 73%, so you're just getting released. Prisoner difficulty 62%. You know what? I think you should just get released as well. I'm in no position to worry about food right now. Let's try to improve our relations with this faction a little bit. I'm very confused about what's happening in here. Can I can I give this bed um, an owner? <laughs> like, I want Nielsen to take the bed. We need Mathis to get rested up, because he's our, uh... He's our greatest friend when it comes to getting this prisoner on our side. And Nielsen's gonna be our new, like, number one girl. She's gonna replace Austin. No offense, man, Austin. And you're, you know what? You get the first real grave. This grave, here lies Austin. He gave his life... So that Finn may join us. Does that mean anything? No, because Finn is kind of a waste of space right now. But you know what? Look at that. He's 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 trying his best. Poor mood. Finn could have a soft mental break at any point. What what is your problem? You're gonna have a mental break? I lost my friend because of you, and you're gonna have the audacity to make a mental break. Urgently hungry, in a moderate amount of pain. Colonist died. Observed corpse. Well, you know what, Finn? Why don't you do some goddamn cleaning, then? If you're sick of being so freaking dirty all the time. But, you know, if you want to be a patient, that's a good idea as well. Uh, and you should always firefight, of course. Uh, and you should rest in the bed. But Warden, number one Warden should be Dan, man. But I guess he's not around to do it. Or no, 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 no. Number one Warden should be Mathis. Yeah, okay. He's, he's resting right now, but then, then he's good to go. And you know what? Well, I guess you get Austin's bed now. So, you should be happy about that. And you know what? From now on, Finn... You get to be named Rob. You're now Rob. And it's not because Rob has no skills. It's just because Rob, you know... Is responsible for Austin's death in the future that I've seen. Um, don't ask any more questions about it. A witch was like, hey, 
do you want to see how you die? And I was like, this isn't how I go. And then they made a movie about it in 2003 starring Billy Crudup and um, Marianne Cotillard and uh, Albert Finney. And it was a classic. Jessica Lange was in it. Ah, <sighs> cat named Tiny bonded to NL has died. It will affect NL's mood. I hate, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Consume cat corpse. Hey, can you make an animal grave? Tiny has been so good for us. If not, then we'll just... We'll put it in the dumping zone. After we eat here. I expect that this is going to affect his mood. And you know what? That's alright. Mission... I was going to say mission accomplished, but I didn't really mean it like that. All things carry a sacrifice, unfortunately. And uh, this time, Tiny has to be sacrificed. I'm very sorry about this. It burns me up more than it burns you up, I promise. So, NG has been released. I think. I mean, I want them to be released. I don't mind if they escape. Because I don't want to give them any food anyway. This should, when they exit the map, give us a faction bonus. Dan is starving. No, maybe they just escaped. I don't know. Um, so Dan's starving. Rob, if you're not doing anything else, maybe you could prioritize feeding Dan because he's fucking starving right now. Is this not your job? There you go. Make, make Dan's life easier. Give him some medicine, all right? You should also be... I mean, I'm, I'm just releasing them. I don't really care. I was just hoping I'd get the faction bonus as well. You may notice as well, it's 32 degrees Celsius outside. Starting to pick up, you know, heat-wise a little bit here. Now Rob finally has a medical bed open to himself. What's Dan up to? Relaxing socially? You know what? Honestly, you earned it, guys. We've gone through this timeline, and, you know, we, we, we went through it better. Except, uh, okay, yeah, sure, you know, you got a good point. Austin did die, but I think he died doing what he loved. We got a traitor. They'll hang around for a few days without leaving. Um, you can attack them, but this will anger their faction. Oh my god, look at how many there are. I don't think we want to be making any enemies right now, but we may want to trade. We've got 800 silver. And, uh, Mathis, why don't you come up here? You're our number one social genius here. Dan's finishing up the bunker. That may never be useful, but that's alright. Okay, oh my god. They have so much stuff. A Kevlar helmet. EMP grenades. Sniper rifle. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle. Um, a bionic arm, medicine. This could be something that we would we would desire. What do they have for medicine? I'm still very confused about the way that this system works. Oh wait, this is stuff that we have. We have EMP grenades. Honestly, I feel like we should sell the EMP grenades. We have no interest in them, probably. I think we should keep the sniper rifle. Sell the shiv, just because we have no interest in it. Sell, sell the shiv as well. Get all that stuff. Okay, so we're getting 99 back. Um, I would rather buy medicine than sell medicine. And some of these weapons are far too expensive for us. Um, we don't need artillery shells right now. What's the price on medicine? 1567, this price is normal. So let's maybe tr just trade the stuff we don't need for, um, for some medicine that seems like it'll come in handy. So we're still getting 36 silver back here. Is there anything we want to add just for, you know, roughly 36 silver that could be good for us? I mean, the helmet is interesting, admittedly. Um, I kind of feel like maybe we should just take, like, two components. And then we're, we're spending one silver. We're giving them the shit we don't want, including the EMP grenades, which I'd never use properly. Melee weapons that don't matter. In order to get back four medicine and two components. I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, let's go back to speed one for a second here. There's a couple of things I'm not thrilled with uh, right now. And one of them is, uh, very slow research. Yo, somebody should equip this. Mathis has a gun, 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 gun. But I feel like range is important. So if Mathis has the choice between a personal defense weapon, short range, low power, high rate of fire, very quick to aim and fire, versus... Well, I, you know, basically what I'm getting at is, like, maybe Mathis should have a shoddy sniper rifle. It sounds like it's our worst weapon. That is still better than the uh, the other alternatives here. Like, let's see what he's got this equipped now. 
Um, long range, great accuracy and power. I like range as long as we can land like a couple hits early on. It seems important. Uh, so we're trying to recruit here, but really Mathis should be the one doing the recruiting. Why am I the warden right now? Oh, you know what? Rob is a great warden as well. Once he's healed. And there he is. He's fully healed. So hopefully he'll be our first warden um, over Mathis, actually. Oh, I changed bed rest. My mistake. One sec. Rel access or uh, average of relevant skills for bed rest. Um, wait, you should make bed rest a 2-2. Two, two. Patient 2. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rob should be like level 2 warden for sure. And Mathis, you know, you can go back to level 3. And then for cleaning, I think you should go level 3. And then you can become a researcher and, and grower again. What's Rob's growing, growing stat? He, he can't grow. Okay. Sweet. That's great news. Um, our bunker is actually complete. So that's sweet. Um, I don't think we need a floor for it. Also, it only affects us right now. It's only good for us if enemies attack from the left. And they, there's a really narrow range, with which that makes sense. But uh, we can build four bunkers and then hopefully get almost every angle covered here. R.I.P. Tiny. What's what's Rob's animal stat? Maybe we, if he's good with animals, there's a purpose for him to be here. No offense meant to the real Rob, of course. Five. I don't know. On the bright side, no problems right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Everybody, you know, just have some meals, go to sleep. I, I do wish you would put some pants on, Rob. I'm going to force you to wear these camel hair pants. And it's not just because they look good on you. Oh, he was wearing jeans already. They just blended in with the color of his legs for some reason. Honestly, the colony is still going okay. Everybody's healed. I'm telling you, we're going to get Nielsen. She's going to join us here. Just wait for Rob to work his magic. Hey, did you know that Pringles are made out of McDonald's french fries that they were supposed to throw out at the end of the day? Give it a second. Give it a second. You want to join us? <sighs> Recruitment failed 2.6% chance. All right, you know what? I think you're getting released. We don't have anything better to, to do with you right now. There's no point in keeping a prisoner that's just gonna waste, uh... It's gonna waste our time. Are we really? No, no, no. You, Mathis, I get it. You're making some potatoes here. What are you doing? Cleaning blood? That's important. Uh, Mathis... This is not right, okay? We bury our dead here. We bury our dead. Do not... Consume human corpse. And we're going to bury him in his clothes, because Austin was a good man for us, okay? Dan can continue to build and construct. I'm hoping that Mathis... I mean, he's got a lot of growing to do. He's got plants to sow. But um, I'm hoping that he starts up with his research again soon, and then we, you know, get some good stuff done there. Because it has... I mean, the last few uh, invasions have really messed with us from a progress standpoint, without a doubt. But at least we've got a functional colony again. We got four units. We got a lot of food. We got some hospitals. We got a, a designated <laughs> cleaning dude who's all, yeah, look at him. He's saying, hey, what's up, man? And you know what? This is a great time to check out our history. How's our, look at wealth. We had a little dip, but we also made some big progress. Probably when we traded, I guess. And then um, colonist mood. I'm going to guess that this is where everybody died. And then it's been about a day and we're pretty much on the level again. Um, so we're still, you know, we're working on our joy building here. Rob cannot construct. So that's like terrible news. Um, what's his hunting level like? 2.5 out of 20. Well, you know, when in Rome, Rob is also doing some research. Because Mathis is growing. I'm okay with it. I think this is the right decision. But that is going to do it for this episode. And I think uh, what I should definitely do is save and say the Big Brother house has weathered 
I'm just gonna call this hard save 001 so that I know what it is. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. What are we gonna do on the next episode? Hopefully continue to shore up our defenses a little bit. Um, definitely finish this joy room and hopefully have a little bit more uh, control over the mood of our colonists because as of right now, we're kind of going day to day here. But for now, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks for your constructive criticism and the feedback in the comments as well. Uh, so I can get a little bit better at RimWorld. And I'll see you next time.